Hey guys, you are tuning in for episode 5 of Murder in the First. Follow the money. We're going to talk about it all. I guess Hildy and Terry are no longer together. What the F? Stay tuned. You're tuning in to the destination for TV superfan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. Sometimes the songs just come to us. Mm-hmm. Based on the title <laughs> of the episode, not necessarily the excitement of the episode, because the excitement of the episode was a low one. Welcome to After Buzz TV! Hi, hi. We have to bring our own energy, because this episode was not the greatest. A little flat. A little bit. A little it even flat. ended flat. What's up, everybody? I am Monsi Bolanos. You can find me on all social media at Monsi Bolanos. M O N S E B O L A N O S. Across from me. Hey guys, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff at Susanna underscore Kim S U S A N N A H. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? We're here at 11:15 p.m. It's a little late. Past I'm our bedtime? Super tired. Yeah, actually, my bedtime's like 4 a.m. So, so you're in I'm that okay, like you gotta get past the wall. Yeah. yeah I, gotta, I gotta sneeze. Bless Talk. you. <laughs> Salud. Gracias. Uh-huh. Hello, everyone. Welcome to After Buzz TV. Uh, he, here we are. If you are here with us, like right now, like this exact moment, thank you. Because it's late. Yeah. Not only is it late here, if you're on the East Coast, it's freaking late. Real late. Thank you. But here we are. Uh, this was a, a, a change in our schedule for the week. Next week, we will be back to normal time, normal people time. Uh, but we're here to talk about this episode of Burn the First, which was a little flat. Yeah. From beginning to end, like, it just was not what we've been getting mm-hmm. the last four episodes. And the end of it, you were even like, oh, that's the end? Yeah, I was skipping to the next section. I was like, oh, wait, they're doing previews for the next episode. So that was the end of the episode. <laughs> it was, it, and it, you know... It wasn't, like, awful. I'm not going to say I'm never watching the show again. It just... Nothing fun happened. Nothing no. exciting. We didn't really learn all that much. Yes, so. yeah. yeah. But we did learn one thing. The thing we were so confused about last week. Hmm. Hildy and Terry are not together. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, like, literally the one thing we found out. Yeah. Um, I mean, we kind of expected... We did. We did. drag that out. Uh, <laughs> freaking... <laughs> Murder in the first. Uh, we're back to like square one of everything we ever wanted between Hildy and Terry to the point where she was asked out by the medical examiner Burnside. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I, he he just seemed like Hildy is like too cool for him. Yeah. Although, I mean, he kind of proved himself otherwise today. A little bit. With bike and, right? you know. He was definitely more than I was expecting him to be. But, yeah. But up until now, I never saw him as any sort of, like, you oh, know. Oh, no. Not season one or or season anything season like two. that. Nothing romantic going on there. Like. And, like, I wanted to kind of slap Terry when she uh. approached it to Terry about what was, oh, you know, I got asked out. Right. And he was just like, okay, well. You pretty much you. you do you yeah. and I would have slapped him mm. because it was like no obviously I don't do me yeah. which is why I'm telling you this mm-hmm. but at the same time she didn't say anything either you know she didn't but it's all like she came in like okay I mean I guess so if you want to yeah. move on you she know? did she let it a little she, more obvious she was like okay. right she just, and she went out with him so <laughs> you which, know I, I would have done the same thing I'm mean, like okay boo Bye. I'm gonna. I'm, I am gonna go out with him. I don't like but him. I mean, is that isn't that more petty? <laughs> well, here's the thing. Isn't that much smaller? I feel like if we were Hildy, like you know, obviously Hildy, it, what Hildy's going through at this point, we, we we really don't understand. But I don't know. I think if I did it, it was pity. Mm. But because pity. it's Hildy, I don't think it was pity. Petty. 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 That's what I meant. Petty. You know, you're right. That's I don't know why I said no. petty. I knew what I was saying. Petty. <laughs> I think if I did it, uh-huh. it would be petty. But because it's Hildy, I don't think it's petty. Because I honestly think she's just kind of like, all right, well, this isn't working out. Mm-hmm. Maybe this will work out in a different right. way that I don't know about. I think she's just being more open-minded. Mm-hmm. And you got to give it to her. But <sighs> that was so annoying. Yeah. Yeah, the whole thing was... The whole thing. The whole thing. And Although, I'm... I mean, the, their date was, like, kind of cute. It was. Getting to know him was, I mean, you know, I never would have expected all the things that he shared about, you know, right. biking 1,400 miles or right. whatever. So and he, nice. like, you know, it was it was funny how her daughter, Louise, was the one that was like, you can ride this motorcycle. Take the helmet. Yeah. Go. So pushy. I wasn't sure if, Lu- was Louise aware of the relationship between her mom and Terry? I wasn't sure, because I was kind of hoping that she would be more on, like, Terry's team. Be like, okay, this new guy, you know, and maybe give him a little shade, but that didn't happen. No. I thought that would have been fun, though. Unless she's just like... more team mom finding a person. Yeah, for sure. You know, but, but I don't know. I, 
I, I would hope that she like... did not. Louise is not stupid. No, yeah. Which we've been told that throughout like the show. Mm-hmm. But so I mean, like, like I know she saw him together. I just wasn't sure if she was aware that it was like a romantic thing, or if she's like, oh, you know, have... it's like you know, there's no it's her way partner. She yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so maybe. So maybe but she then just... I was just hoping that she would bend around I would, Terry. Yeah, <laughs> I. Why not? I know. Why not, Terry? What are you doing, Louise? What are you doing? <laughs> Go back and smoke. What was she smoking? A vape pen. <laughs> Go back and smoke that vape pen and let your mom go out with Terry because this is just ridiculous <laughs> uh, but yeah even to the end like which we'll talk about the whole Normandy story at the end when they go to the crime scene which the episode ended so weird mm. uh, she shows up on the back of Burnside's motorcycle yeah, awkward. and like Terry doesn't even really like I mean he makes a comment yeah. but it was so no like, big deal it, yeah. shut up Terry you know you don't <laughs> like what's going on right now this is stupid hmm. and like that date I feel when they were when they were out and they were talking about it about the 1400 miles and all this crap <sighs> all this crap uh, I just was like this isn't real this can't be real Hilly's <laughs> too cool for this like this can't be real but oh, they, so even so like even after the date still think like, she's no, just too this cool is, for him. you're just you, you're just too cool he, he needs to date another doctor <laughs> Yeah, like another doctor or just not Hildy. Like, Hildy's too cool. Even though it seemed, he's much cooler than we thought. But it seems as though that, for me, that date was not what I wanted. But for them, it seemed like it progressed really quickly. He was, he was, they didn't, didn't they make a comment about, like, the second act? Moving on to the second act? Right, yeah. He's like, hopefully that's what this is. Yeah, so it was like, oh, you, you guys are going places. <laughs> okay. Hey, hmm. I don't like it. I just want them to get together, and it seems like that's not going to happen. But let's talk about Saletti. Ugh. I, mm, so don't you think, do I you not like agree with me? I don't like anything no, about him. Do I'm you not agree? sure I like Curry anymore. I don't know if I can Curry like Graham. him as an actor. Look at this. You've lost Susanna as a <laughs> friend. I just don't like as Mario. As a supporter? So uh, gross. So now do you think... That, because remember I said, I feel like you and Curry sat here, and his face was like, I don't agree with you. When I said that, when he was talking to Cassie in the car, and he was just like, come home, I'm sorry, Mm -hmm. and I was like, it's all, it's all set up, it's all set up, Mm -hmm. and you guys both kind of were like, no, that was genuine, that was a genuine moment. Oh, like he actually wanted to. Like he actually meant. After this episode, do Mm -hmm. you still think that was genuine? Um... I don't know. It's hard to say. There's no way you can think that was genuine. After this episode, when he, especially because it was, it was like clearly put out for us with his attorney, Arkin, mm-hmm. that was like, you need to do something about this. Like, you need to try harder. Right. And then and he, he was went like, over I did. to Michael. But I just feel like, I mean, a part of him still, like, could genuinely still want to be with his family because the alternative is what you know losing everything being alone not being able to see your son and you know all that stuff so i feel like yeah he's doing it for himself but but you know was it i don't know like i don't i don't think he's gonna go out and like start cheating on his wife again and stuff like that something about his reaction to like her uh demands something about that was kind of like not belittling but just you know kind of felt like he was like put in his place a little bit and maybe not like her at all but yeah, <laughs> I don't. Yeah, that's necess- what I, got. I don't necessarily disagree with what you're saying at all. Like I, I think there's a, some truth behind it, but I also think there's malicious intent behind it. Yeah, like he's not just doing this to better the family and to reunite and like move on. He's doing this to help himself out first. Right. And you know that whole scene at the end when she's kind of like, "I want you to beg for it. Oh, yeah. I want this. I want that." And he's like kind of feeding into it mm. but at the same time I feel like he's feeding feeding into it for a reason for his own benefit right like so she I, doesn't go against him right like yeah. this whole time as much as I do think that you're right he probably does want to fix this and like be a family and like have these dinners and just cause like shit. I mean also cause that's good for him too like cause it right. makes him look good and you know what I mean right. like in that sort of aspect right he probably wants to do all, all of these things but I feel like there's still an underlying Goal mm-hmm. or and, like and it's that's ultimately himself. about his case. Yeah. Yes. It's mm-hmm. ultimately he is making sure that he, she doesn't testify against him. Right. That's what I. I hated when she's like, "Oh, I have stipulations," um, and one of them was treat me as an equal. <laughs> he Wait, wasn't. What? Yeah. Exactly. Why is that? Uh, why is that a demand now? Was yeah. that not an issue before you guys got married? So yeah. before. You, so before. 
you were just property or I'm not sure what what excuse me right. everything about that whole conversation I feel like set back feminism so it was so gross Full I hated partner, everything about it equal I'm the only so one gross. not when there's multiple others yeah and she said I can't do it if I'm one of many and yeah. then he said oh you above any which mean which <laughs> which basically which means there are still some but you'll just be above you'll be number one but there's gonna be a number two three four six ten you know what I mean yeah. like what everything I hate uh, mm. and she didn't, didn't seem like to like realize that when he responded to that she kept that whole like mes that trying to like seduce him right. attitude that kept going even after he said that and yeah. I was like that still means there's more it was just gross. why are you tripping girl but for real it was so dumb why it's just so stupid and Oh, just ignorant. Yeah, I, ugh, yeah, I didn't like any of us. I thought it was too easy. <laughs> Hated everything. It was too about easy. It. Like the whole thing about like approaching Michael and like Michael's ugh, like, I like something. Too. I need. I look so good dumb. in red. Here's a car you're gonna buy me. Mm -hmm. And it's like his son is like a splitting image of him. Yeah. Like it, everything that Saletti is mm -hmm. uh, at this moment, as you know, whatever the old AD attorney, whatever. Mm -hmm. His son is literally that. Yeah, issues. Real deep issues. Real, yeah. And then, like you said, the dinner, I felt, it was so, like, there's no tension. I no. felt there should have been way more tension. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, even if they were trying to, like, put on this facade and, you know, get something from the other person, like, still, right. it should have been a more awkward dinner. There's too much smiling, too much, oh, like, yeah. oh, but it, everything, I just hated everything about all of that. Yeah, <laughs> even down to the point where, like, talking about just the, the dinner and how he cooked it, like, it was like, oh, this, y'all good? Everything's dandy. Yeah. I don't understand. Yeah, I didn't like it either, but it it showed the, it, it made me, I'm just so angry I'm hitting my mic. <laughs> it made me feel more confident about what I said about Slutty before. That I was like, no, like there is, that he's a terrible person. That he's a terrible, yeah. <laughs> he's a terrible person. And like, he has one goal. And, or there's one person on his list that he's going to take care of first, mm -hmm. and that is him. Mm -hmm. It goes him, then him, then his wife, then, mm -hmm. you know, everybody else. Mm -hmm. I just never saw his wife and his son as people I didn't really like until this episode. Now I'm like, I don't like you. I don't like you either. I don't like anything about this whole family. <laughs> right? Um, I didn't like Michael bef at times before because I thought Michael was very Saletti, young Saletti. Mm. Even even before I, I saw things about him that I was like, oh, you're turning into your father. Mm. Uh, but her, you're right. Her, I never disliked her. I always, you always felt for her. Yeah. You always sided with her. Oh, yeah. She seemed like the normal one. And, and now, then, nope. You're like, done. so not so like so you. Much. Who do I like? <laughs> We like Mulk and Navarro. Yeah. They're so good together. I love them, yeah. They're, they, add, I, we saw them uh, throughout the entire episode, not just in one spot, which I loved. Uh, but they're, you know, they're the, the light side of this equation. Mm -hmm. Everything they do mm -hmm. is always something that you, you're going to, like, whenever they come on, you're like, yes, mm -hmm. I want to see this. Whatever you're going to do, whoever you're going to interrogate, whoever you're going to chase, whatever you're going to say, mm -hmm. I want to see it. And they I always throw in little it. small jokes for them, too. Right. Like, when they went to the bike place, and the guy's like, oh, what a beautiful little couple. Right. They're like, uh, we're cops. We're cops. Like, what a shame. <laughs> right? All of that. Oh, wow. They always are the right thing you need in that show. The, mm -hmm. They're the right mix of things. Now, we did not see Serena Parrish, which is who yeah. I think Kodo's love interest. Mm -hmm. We didn't see any of that. Even though we did get a little bit of Kodo, Kodo had a very special moment with Terry, where they smoked a cigar, oh. talking just about, Blood. like, yeah, he reveals <laughs> that he had a job offer, he didn't take it. Like, they, they had a special moment, and it seemed as though... And it's so funny. It seemed just so like it was so accepted that Hildy and Terry were done. Like it was just like, oh, this is clear. You're over. Yeah. When at the end of the last episode, we had no idea what was going on. Right. I mean, how much time has passed, really? Yeah. yeah. I wish they gave us a little laugh. Yeah. You know, like three weeks later. Mm hmm Two months. Just give us a little bit. Just mm -hmm. put it in, you know, lower third. Just slide yeah, it in there. It's hard to tell. Fade it in, fade it out. Because it like case-wise, it's going like, you know, like yes. episode after episode. But then right. but it's, there's no relationship-wise, yeah, things are happening in gaps. So right. No, there's no time. there's no way this is like the next following day. Because this is how fast you move, Hildy. We got to talk about it. Right. Like, there's no way. I wish they did that. Yeah. A little bit. Just, and not, it doesn't have to be every, every episode. But just mm -hmm. like a little bit. Like, mm -hmm. so we kind of know what's going on. Uh, but we do find out a little bit about what's going on in the Normandy case. Even though it's not a lot. Yeah. It was very... What we found out, I felt like, 
we found out early on in the episode, and then nothing else changed. Mm -hmm. Like, we heard about the whole... Okay, so we found... We basically find out that there is, like... There were ninety percent of Normandy's money mm -hmm. was invested in the sourdough Sam's yes. company, whatever. Right. We find out that there somebody may have taken out, which I never heard about this, like an insurance on the spokesperson of a company, um, even though you're not related, which right. they mentioned. Subway Sam did. Uh -huh. Subway Sam did, and uh, it's usually you can only take the policy, the insurance life policy on somebody if you're related or like right. some sort of thing uh but apparently not if they're the spokesperson of a company right. you can do that because it's a publicly traded company right yes. and we we kind of quickly find out that his business manager may have been the middle person and somehow mm -hmm. but he wasn't it seems like he's in innocent he says that S sam needed to pay somebody off mm -hmm. and probably did this to Normandy, but doesn't really know. Like, claims like he doesn't know. Mm -hmm. Claims like he's definitely innocent. And we do see some guys beating up Sam right? early on in the episode, mm -hmm. which comes back later. Mr. They Sam. show us these guys, like, torturing him, mm -hmm. telling him that they need to. he needs to pay in 48 hours. Yes. So he's in debt. Yeah, apparently by a lot. I mean, yeah, so it's Mr. Chow, and we find out that... He had a gambling issue, mm -hmm. right? Because are you getting there? Yeah, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah, I, yeah, we, yeah, we find out like he's he was missing, or yeah, he was beat right. up, and then he was missing, and then we find out that he had a gambling issue. So we're thinking that he's related to these guys, Mr. Chow, I think it was. I think that's from what like they a said. gambling thing, right? So he lost money, and now he owes people. So he's got problems. I feel like this is this is too easy. Easy. We're episode five, and you're already telling us that Sam owed money to Mr. Chow. Right. And so he killed Normandy to make this money to pay this back. Mm -hmm. Seems too easy. Yeah. There's got it. There's something we're missing. Mm -hmm. There's obvious, and who knows when they're going to tell us. Uh, but I still think the business manager is. Right. Even in though, it. even you know, though they seemed, spoke to him today. Yeah, and he seems in innocent. But at the same time, we didn't find Sam afterwards. You know, to really like corroborate that story. It's so very true. He could just be. You know, saying, like, I don't know what's going on, when really he's the one making things going on. So I don't right. Know, making this happen. I mean, we, we talked to Otto. Otto was... Otto Brooks. Right. Yes. Who claims to have... He's the broker that was told to... To, to invest in this uh, company prior to Normandy being killed. Or invest... Or not... Uh, to put in... Right. He had yeah. a client. Right. Um, well, the, bi the business partner told Otto to invest... Knowing, or we think, knowing that Normandy was Normandy was going to die, and he was going to make right x amount of money because it was going to go down mm -hmm. the subway sourdough subway right <laughs> sourdough they bet that it would go down yeah. that it would go down because he would die. So they invested this money, and it just seems like how did you know the 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 day the investment happened? It was like right before Normandy was killed. So they think obviously, why did you do this? If you they even talked to him and they're like, you have no investment or broker history or anything like that. You're right. just this, like, guy who's doing X, Y, and Z, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden you decide to do this? Right. Why? Something did seemed... they say who the... Cl I forgot. Who did he say the client was? Do you remember? Because he, he was the broker that bought the stocks for someone. Was the client Nick Rosenthal, who was the big business manager? Is that what, how that happened? I thought... Or Nick Rosenthal was the one that told him, him to yes. do that. So then who was the client that won all the money? Did we get that? Wasn't it... Oh, remember when they're like, who's Paul? Right, We right. got the name. So is, is Paul the person that got but the But that's when they were talking to Nick, though. I don't know. Now I'm confused. When they went to go talk to the broker, uh -huh. and he was sitting at his computer desk, and then, because he's not, he's not the one actually making the investments. He's the broker, so he made it for someone, for right. his client. He was like, my client made a Which lot of money Otto. off of this. It was in an auto? Otto was the guy that they were like, why did you, why did you make this investment when you've never done this before? And then he was like, this guy told me to, the right. investment partner. Nick told him to, yeah, told yes. him to, but for who? You know what I'm saying? Like, who's his client that won all the money? Does that make sense? Because he's a broker. He's a middleman. Right. So didn't he tell Otto to do it, so Otto made the money? Is that what it was? That's what I understood oh. from it. That's what I thought. I thought Otto was saying, oh, my client made a lot of money off of this deal. And so, I don't know. We might need help with this. But That's what I, that's what I thought. And maybe uh -huh. you might be right, but I just, even though there is a Paul, when even Terry was like, who's Paul? Mm -hmm. But I was under the impression that Otto made the money. And mm. that's why Otto gave up Nick's name. Mm. And that's when Hildy was like, that's the business manager. Right. But I could be, I could be way. Yeah, I don't know. I, I could don't be know. off. <laughs> Anywho, there was a key man insurance policy that would make 
10 million dollars right. when normandy was killed mm-hmm. but like i said i feel like this is way too way too easy. easy and the fact that amanda which was uh sam's wife, wife. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even know right why you say wife maybe second well, like, wife fourth wife <laughs> Fourth wife, second wife. Right. When she calls, when she calls them, and she's like, you know, this place has been upside down. Those Mr. Chow was here, mm-hmm. like yelling at him a few days ago. Da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. I feel like she wouldn't have called them if she knew what he was doing, what he was mixed in, why these guys were torturing him, why he's missing. Like if she actually knew what the hell was going on, she wouldn't mm-hmm. call them. There's no way she would call them. Mm. That's what I, that's what I thought. I was like, if anything, she would call somebody like Nick, the business right manager, whatever. Right. I just feel like so she's innocent. You're saying I, I think she's yeah. innocent. Yeah, I don't think she's got enough. In her I don't think she knows anything. To, yeah. yeah, she doesn't know. Wife number two, <laughs> three, and four don't know out. anything. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Wife number five knows though <laughs> because she gets to keep all the money. All right, and she's not gonna get, keep all the money. <laughs> uh, but. I don't know. I felt like we were so... This episode was so blah. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like we just covered it. Mm-hmm. I for, wait, who was... Now I'm forgetting. Who are Sarah and Devin again? Do you have... <laughs> where do you... What, what, Sarah and Devin. They were... Steckler. A couple, yes. This was uh, the couple that saw the... Is this the couple that saw the crash? Uh, the Saletti hitting... The no, one. that was a girl. That was a girl. Oh, right, 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 uh-huh. right. Yeah, we didn't talk much about her. That was kind of random, right? That was the girl full of piercings yeah. and like the tattoos. Uh-huh. And, like, that was and all so she really weird. said was, "Oh, I saw him. You know, I saw her get her. Or you know, get fly out, in the air. fly in the air. Like, but then everything we already it. knew. And then like, Mog and Navarro had this crazy reaction. Like they learned some new information, but they just did tell it. us, right? And he, they were so like, so just tell us, we'll protect scene. you. We'll yeah. do everything we can. You have our our word, our yeah. promise. And you're right. She it didn't was share like, anything that we didn't know. Did we? Did we already right? know that? Yeah. yeah did she, she say like, oh, out. he had a bottle, or oh, he was distracted distracted on the phone, or oh, you know what I mean? No. No. She said the woman was on her phone talking loudly. Mm-hmm. So if anything, it makes it seem like it was that woman's fault. Maybe that's what they were reacting to, thinking like, oh, it wasn't his fault. I don't know, but it was just a weird scene. I didn't get anything from it. But Me it was neither. Such a weird reaction. I was like, why is this so important? Nothing. When it, you're and right. She never came back. They never brought up the information that they got from that. They never got anything about that. that interview. I don't know. No. Weird. Yeah. So there was that. Um, okay, but no, that wasn't Sarah and Devin. All I wrote was Sarah and Devin. Steckler. I wrote that much. Yeah. And, and I, I, wrote, I wrote that they're annoying. I'm sure they've <laughs> seen worse when they were bickering. And they were like, really? We're going to do this in front of our, oh, in front of the cops? Oh, yeah. She's like, I'm, sur- I'm sure they've seen worse. Uh-huh. And then I wrote personal friend and, oh! Oh, the bike. Yeah. The missing bike that killed Normandy. They think it was a, the person that shot Not Normandy. That killed, Norm, that killed Billy James. Billy James. I'm sorry. Oh the gosh. guy that... There's so much we, going there's on There's so now. much going on. But this episode <laughs> but yes, yet, did nothing. Was. You're right. You're right. You're okay, right. Okay. We got it. So the bike that was stolen to kill Billy James mm-hmm. and taken off, that's the people they that... They found the bike. They, it, it was their bike. Wasn't it one of their bikes? The, they rented it from a bike rental place. Right. So it was one of their yeah, bikes yeah. that was stolen. Uh, and they find the security cam and it seems as though the person that sold this bike knew exactly what they were doing because the security cam, there was a bus. Mm-hmm. And the guy, the girl that I like, uh, Kiefer. Mm-hmm. Kiefer, mm-hmm. the girl that is in love with Hildy, yeah. who I like so much on the show. <laughs> I love her too. Yeah. And she's like, no, this is like clockwork. Like every 30 minutes, the right. bus goes. They planned it. They planned it. So whoever stole the bike that killed Billy James Mm -hmm. knew that Mm -hmm. the security cam would not catch them Mm -hmm. taking the spike. Who took that bike? I don't know. Is it possible? I mean, they're super annoying. Is it possible you think that they're related at all to the thing? No. They're super annoying. And they don't seem to be all there. And clearly they they have their own issues that they're dealing with on their own level. (laughs) But is it possible that maybe they, you know, because it seems so convenient, like, oh, only one bike was stolen, and they're talking about, like, oh, it was your bike. And no. Is that all possible? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like if they're going to do that, then freaking what's Nick Rose? No, 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 not Rick. Um, Sam's wife who calls. Mm. It's almost like, okay, so is she guilty of something? Because she mm. called to make it seem like, what if she's behind it all? Right. What if, because they mention <laughs> right here, Otto Brooks was ro- old roommates with Nick Rosenthal, who was the business manager. Mm. What if the wife mm. actually was in it more than we know sam's wife right maybe 
like I mean she doesn't seem I mean no that's I mean that that is a possibility because she was there to find like the mess and, and if he's it could dead be doesn't she get the money now you know? that's true that's actually that makes a lot of sense too you know because i mean why would she want to be with sam anyway so she could be thinking like well let me get the money out of this guy Mm -hmm. or the money that he's gonna get out of this other guy Mm -hmm. and then let me now just run away with maybe she's with nick or something or yeah oh they might make a cute couple (laughs) that's what definitely makes more more sense than what's going on sam and they're so confusing us right now yeah there's a lot going on i mean it's episode five so i guess it makes sense that we're just like up in the air because we're like midway through Paul? That's oh, what yeah. Terry said. Who's yeah. Paul? Yeah. <laughs> Me too, Robin Terry. Peter to pay Paul. Who's Paul? Yeah. We'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I think Paul is Mr. Shao, right? Is that? Because they're robbing Peter, which is robbing, you know, Normandy, pretty much, right. to pay Paul, which is who he owes money to, which is Chow. Mm. So I guess Chow is Mr. Paul. That's as good, far as we're saying, good. as far as this, like, kind of looks you know yeah that's the obvious answer <laughs> we're missing a lot of puzzles mm-hmm. or a lot of pieces to this puzzle mm-hmm. but we're halfway through the season mm-hmm. so but at the end so they find his car do you think that they threw him over the thing do you think <sighs> sam's dead then and now and that was all part of what's his wife amanda's big big uh, scheme so out of all this <laughs> amanda is the mastermind are we giving it to her? after we just said that she's oh, she's, uh, she's, that she's good well, she's, <laughs> She's a good girl. She's, that bright? she's a good lady. Good um, lady. She calls the SFPD. She's a good lady. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, like, it would make sense, but I feel like purposely right now, I think we're supposed to be as confused as we are. I think that's what the show wants us to be. Hmm. We're halfway through it. Mm-hmm. We're, suppo- we're supposed to be like, what the heck? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know? Um, let's go. I, th- I think we covered it. Should we go into predictions? Even though I don't know. Mm-hmm. That's my prediction. I don't know. But... I got questions. Okay. Okay. Billy James, who killed Billy James, is that the same person who killed Normandy? No. Different. Yeah. Associated? Um, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> totally. There's no way they're not associated. Yeah. I so you're saying that they killed Billy to cover up that Billy to like make it seem like Billy killed Normandy? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I think they're trying to make it seem like Billy killed Normandy and they killed Billy so that Billy couldn't say who hired him. Mm. But who, like, till then they killed Billy, you know? So it's kind of like, why wouldn't they keep Billy around so that they could pin it on Billy, you know? Is because what I'm if, thinking. If Billy, because here's the thing Billy, if he was alive, he could say, like, you know what? I did kill him, but these Someone's three okay people me. are also involved in yeah, it. Yeah, I guess so. You know what I mean? So, I, that's what that's what I think. Yeah, I okay. think they're associated, and I think they killed him so that he would keep his mouth shut. Mm. And I think whoever's involved is it's got to be it's got to be bigger than freaking his wife, Sam Sourdough, Sam's wife. Yeah, and I don't think it's the, the Chows because they're just too obvious. Yeah, you know? I think they, I think they want their money. But right. I don't think they're gonna like. Right, it's like they didn't get involved to kill Billy James and to kill Normandy. Yeah, right. He just, I don't think they, they just want the Normandy. Yeah, right. They want the money from Sam. Right. Sam exactly. needs to figure his stuff out. Yes. Is he dead or alive? Sam. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna say alive, just because we've already had too many deaths. So what? So he's just they're holding him because yeah. the car the car seemed intact. They even said there were like no real like uh, damage or like yeah he wasn't like thrown off the road exactly or, like, pushed off the road or right, right 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 right. So it wouldn't shock me. It wouldn't actually shock me if he's alive at all. I don't think. To be honest, I don't think him being alive or dead really says much more to the story. Mm-hmm. Like maybe he has answers, but I feel like he's not. They're trying to get us to focus on him, but mm-hmm. the focus should be on someone else. Right. You know what I mean? So, like, I don't think it matters if he's alive or dead. What but if he maybe, like, alive. faked his death somehow, you know? So that like he castle? does get... Like, triple X killer? Oh, that right. That dives into the river? <laughs> so that way he does get, like, that insurance money because, you know, he, d- he right. needs it or something. And then... You know, I don't know. That's also know. that is There's just also, too many possibilities. Dude, that's a good one. Right? What if he faked his own death? Yeah. To avoid To avoid the child. He doesn't know the child anymore. To avoid the Normandy, the Billy James. What if he's behind the whole thing? Maybe he left Amanda there to be like, hey, tell the cops you don't know where I went. And meet me in I'm Cabo. gonna leave my phone right her because I never leave my phone anywhere. Yeah. And you know that. And cause she even made that comment like, Oh my god, they knew where his safe was or something like that. Yes. You know? So it's like 
I don't know. Ooh, what if? There's too what many if? options, too uh, many possibilities. So in the in the preview for next week, yes, they do show that Kodo's lady, even though it's not her, his lady, I just call her that, mm-hmm. Sarah Parrish, mm-hmm. the journalist, has info. Uh-huh. She's like, somebody tried to shoot Normandy, like a fellow teammate. Very quickly, they mention like a fellow teammate trying to shoot Normandy, and then it like cuts to something right. else. But that's all she says. Mm-hmm. Which I think is <laughs> it's just a way to throw us off again. Maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like they're just throwing another name to our head. Right. So we're like, oh, maybe now it's this person. Yeah. When in reality, it's probably just going to be some drama that happened between them that really had nothing to do with his murder. Mm-hmm. That's what I think with that. But then again, like, why is she there then, you know? What is she really bringing to the whole season, right? I feel like we're gonna she get the needs answer to, to be... There's no reason. There, there has to be a reason why she's in this show, she right? She has to be in this show for a reason. So maybe it is something really, because she's the one that like knew about like team drama and, and whatnot. And she says that at the beginning. The locker room stuff. Season one, she's like, I have info you don't have. Yeah. I have access to these players, to these wives, to yeah. these families in a way you do not. Hmm. So maybe, maybe that has to do with it. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> they also show uh, that there was gunshots at Alicia's place. They make a they make a comment of that. They go Alicia is Normandy's girlfriend mm-hmm. or uh, uh, a girlfriend who is still alive. Mm-hmm. But uh, she uh, they they say that there's like gunshots at her place and she's like crying and they're like talking to her. Oh, I it, it all happened so it all happened so <laughs> fast. Yeah, I just see her crying. But I'm I'm glad to get her back again because I want to see what kind of position she's in. Right, because like at first I was like she she's did... innocent. No, she's guilty, mm-hmm. and we haven't seen her in two episodes. I'm like, eh. Okay. Mm-hmm. But in the preview, I think she does say something like, oh, he died because of me. Or, That's you know, what we hear, even like though that. we don't see anything. Right. It's like, who's talking? Mm-hmm. Who's really saying Oh, I thought that was her that was saying I that. thought so, too, but what uh, if it's not? Because they didn't show it. They right, just right, it, right. they just put the voice. Mm. Mm. Hmm. And every time, I'm like, if you don't see the person, <laughs> it's probably not them. Ugh! I basically here we are episode five more confused than ever yeah if you have any ideas to what the heck's going on uh we would greatly appreciate you letting us know what you think is going on yeah help but us we, out help us out but hopefully episode six will give us a lot of answers but mm-hmm. Susana where can they find you where can they tell you what they think you guys can tell both of us what you think yes. on our YouTube comments <laughs> so definitely That's... comment there but you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Susanna underscore Kim it's S-U-S-A-N-N-A-H underscore K-I-M Yes. Thank you for joining us again. Sorry we're so late. Uh, if you're listening to us the next day, it was 11 p.m. We're a little delirious. We're a little tired. But this episode was a little slow. Don't deny it. Do not deny it. But you can follow me on all social media at Monsi Bolanos. M-O-N-S-E-B-O-L-A-N-O-S. Feel free to tweet us, comment, rate us. You don't like us. You love us. Anything. Yeah. Just tell us. Because, you know, we don't do this for ourselves, even though we have fun. <laughs> but let us know. Why not? See you yeah. next week. Normal time. Bye. Deuces. <laughs> From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.